Um, I'm just starting this off with I don't want anybody's pity or empathy, sympathy, whatever the fuck. I don't care about any of that shit. Um, I guess this is just me talking to myself and hopefully somebody else who's I hope they're not like me but who's maybe going down the same path sees this and they realize that hey I don't want to be this dickhead um cause that's just how I feel and that's what I feel like my point on this planet is to do is to just be a demonstration of what not to do and what not to become and I genuinely believe that like down to my core I feel like I'm just an example um I don't think that I have any other like meaning behind what people can look at and use as an example of what not to become. And I'm not on like my, oh, woe is me bullshit, like pity party. Um, It's just genuinely like what I believe. And maybe it's a bad thing. I don't know. But um, I haven't been okay for a long time. For a very, very long time. And by long time, I mean... Middle school, a long time. I've been like this. And... I've always had... Bad thoughts since I was a kid. I've always had thoughts of dying, always had thoughts of not being around, or what would things be like if I wasn't here. I've had harmful tendencies to myself, never to others. I don't want to hurt anybody intentionally. Um, but yeah, I haven't been good. For a very long time. And there have been moments in my life where things have just been okay. Um, but they haven't stayed that way for long. And I would say like the happiest point in my life was maybe a year ago, two years ago. I think that was the happiest point in my life. Um, Yeah, and a lot can change. Um, Especially when you hate yourself as much as I do. I don't think there's one redeeming quality about myself. I don't like how I act. I don't like how I look. I don't like how I speak. I don't like how I feel, how I think. I don't like anything about myself. And I genuinely think, like, to my core that I'm a terrible human being, waste of space. And that for every good thing that I do, I will fuck it up in one way or another.
And that seems to be just like my running theme is that no matter how good something is, I'll fuck it up. I'll find a way to fuck it up. And I try so hard to be somebody that I'm not. And I try to be liked. And I've tried doing that for so long, I really don't know who I am as a person. I don't know my likes, dislikes, interests. I don't know anything about myself. And this person that I've constructed, I don't like at all. And the moments where I can rip that person away, I'm left with literally nothing. I'm left with this blank, hollow person who barely constitutes being a person. And it's a very empty feeling. Like, I don't like anything. I don't enjoy anything. I don't laugh at anything. Um, I don't enjoy anything. And I'm starting to let go of that person that I've constructed. And people will say, oh, Eric, your smile faded really quickly. No, you didn't think that was funny. You must force yourself not to laugh. <laughs> and I feel like all these versions of myself that I'm making, I make a version, I do something wrong, I destroy it, I move on to something else, I make something. It goes okay for a while, and then I do something wrong and I destroy it, and then it's just an, an, an unending process of creating my ideal version of myself or creating the version of myself that I think what people will enjoy the most and I fuck up something along the way and I destroy it and then I have to go back and try to figure something out and I'm tired of doing that um And I don't know what I'm supposed to do anymore. I don't want people to pity me. I don't want people to feel bad for me or feel sorry. I don't want people to tell me that it gets better. I don't even want people to be critical of me anymore. I don't want anything. And I know judgment comes with shit like this. And that's okay. I have accepted everything and anything at this point. I think that I am a lost cause. And that it's better to let people go sometimes. And I feel like I'm one of those people that is better off being let go. And I genuinely believe that. I believe that I'm just here to be an example. And I'm just here.
and I miss where I was two years ago. And I wish I could open my eyes and still be there. And everything now up until this point has been just an extended nightmare. But this is my reality. And I can't comprehend it sometimes. <laughs> like I genuinely really, I really can't like fathom what's happening in my life. And it disturbs me like down to my core and I have to keep relieving, reliving that feeling over and over and over again that this is my reality <laughs> and that when I wake up I can't change things and this is how this is just how shit is like I can't fix it it's just this is it um and I really hate that but I I can't I can't fix anything I can't change things and I really wish I could <laughs> but I just I don't know I just it doesn't matter I guess it doesn't matter because everyone around me will be happy and everyone that's ever been in my life will be happy And I guess I'm the only one doomed to fail. And that makes me happy, I guess. That makes me happy to know that I'll be the only one to, um, to fail this badly at everything. And that everybody else will be okay. A part of me is happy about that. And I've given up on worrying about people. Well, not everybody. I still worry about someone. And I still hope that they're okay. And that they're eating enough. And that they have friends that they can talk to. and that they're okay and that they're not lonely and that they're being supported and they're happy. I still think about that sometimes. But I know they'll be okay because they're a strong person. But, um, yeah, I've, I've, I've always, um, I've always hated myself <laughs> for a lot of different reasons. And I guess, um, everything's just coming to a head and I'm spiraling. And I spiraling fast and I can't stop it. <laughs> and it feels like everything around me is falling apart or has fallen apart. And I'm struggling really hard to latch on to anything and to piece things back together. But I can't put all the pieces back the way that they were.
And I feel stupid for doing all this woe is me sad shit. I feel like a loser for doing it. If I didn't feel like one already. But I hate that I'm doing this stupid shit. And I never wanted to admit it, but every time I do some self-destructive or st stupid, crazy, self-harm shit, I've always wanted somebody to reach out and help me. And to show that they care. But, um, it's okay. It's not anybody's responsibility to do that. I need to do it myself, but... I've always wanted someone just to save me. I just wanted you to save me. And when I needed you the most, it you weren't there. And you promised me that you would be. And I know at that point you you owe me nothing. And I don't deserve anything from you. And it's my fault for latching on to that. And I should feel like an idiot for latching on to that. But I thought that all those times that I did it for you, that maybe this one time you would do it for me. And again, it's not your responsibility, or it wasn't your responsibility. But it feels like if anyone would care for me, even including my own parents, you would be the one to do it. But that's okay. Um, everyone deserves happiness. And I'm sure you're happy. You deserve to be. But I don't think that I deserve um, any type of happiness. And I'm not trying to make anybody feel guilty or feel like they let me down because I let myself down. And I'm, at the end of the day, I'm the only reason why I feel the way that I do. But I just, um, I don't know what I thought, but, um, I just I just want to serve my purpose of being an example. And as my mental health slowly starts to get worse. Um I hope things can get better for other people. Because I wouldn't wish this upon anybody. Um, 
I wouldn't want this for anybody because it sucks. I wouldn't want to wish not being able to sleep or being scared to sleep because you don't want to have dreams. And those moments that you do fall asleep, you wake up gagging and nauseous or having the same concept of a dream over and over and over and over and over again about how things would have been if you wouldn't have fucked up or if you were able to fix things or if you were living a life that you wanted to live. I wouldn't want to wish anybody feeling alone and miserable and isolated on anybody. I wouldn't want anybody to feel useless and unseen. Or like a loser or a fake or a monster or a terrible human being. Um, I wouldn't want to wish that on anybody and I hope that nobody is really going through the same shit that I'm going through because it sucks, it really does. And people say, get help, get on medication. That only helps so much. And then the next step is just to get grippy socked and then at that point, what really is the point? I guess that's one good thing I can say about my parents is that they never talked to anybody about it. So I haven't gotten grippy socked because I definitely should have. But yeah, I um, I just hope that everybody can take away something from me. And it's just not to, not to be closed off and to talk to people. Don't isolate yourself. Don't hurt the people you love the most because you're hurt. Because once you hurt them enough, you can't take it back. And when you realize that, they have no obligation to you to stay. They don't have to stay to watch you become a better person. They don't have to stay to watch you become a worse person and they don't have to stay to watch you die. So I just hope that anybody who sees this, the one two, three, four, fifty people that see this, I just hope that you do better than me. And you take advantage of the time that you do have and fix the things that you can fix before everything becomes so much worse. Because things can become worse. Take time to yourself to heal and to become better. Don't let yourself become like me where you feel like everything is too late and that nothing can be fixed and you fucked up so much that nothing can be repaired. So you might as well just off yourself and grapple with that idea every single fucking day. I just hope that something can come from this, something good can come from this. Yeah. And when I'm not having like a mental 
fog and when I'm feeling better I will look at this and think that I'm a fucking idiot and that this is embarrassing but um whatever I guess whatever bro it is what it is it is what it is maybe I'll go viral on tiktok in a core core edit that would be pretty nice or maybe I'll end up on the news as that one black guy my local news and I have five people say oh I knew him he was so good he was so nice I don't know what happened to him but um yeah for the people that do see this I hope you're okay and um don't let things get too bad take time to yourself be kind to yourself I guess that's it